hi everyone so this video is about uh, I'll be explaining you how to integrate Pega with LDAP right from installing the LDAP server and doing some configurations in the LDAP configurations at Pega side and then testing the LDAP authentication so for this there are some prerequisites you should have at least installed a Java on your system Java 8 and then uh, you have installed Pega personal edition on your system make sure you have set the Java path variable so I'll just show show you uh, the Java path which you need to set so you have to go to the environment variables and set the Java path Java home and then add the path of Java bin folder into the environment variables so with this uh, with this configurations uh, the Apache LDAP server will start otherwise it will not start so let me and uh, you know uh, for Apache DS I have given the link this is the link which you have to uh, which you can use to download the software Apache DS software and uh, the Apache Studio software is uh, as I said it's a Windows software which you can uh, it is a Windows based or it's an ID integrated development uh, unit which you can use to connect to the LDAP server and do some configurations so I've given the link you can use this link to download Apache Studio so let me uh, I've already downloaded the softwares so they are available with me so what I'll do is I'll start uh, assuming that you have made uh, you know you have added the environment variables on Java home and path so I'll just start the Apache DS server okay so the Apache DS the Apache LDAP server is started now so what I'll do is I'll run the Apache Director Studio and then I'll connect to the LDAP server okay so let's assume that I've already uh, added it so let me remove it so this is how you would get the screen so create a new connections click on the new connection name it host and the port number which you have to use is 10389 click on next so to log in this is the default when you install your LDAP server there is this is the default user ID which is already created use this ID and the password will be secret I have already changed my password so I'll just give the password which I use so now we have connected to the LDAP server so you can actually see the ID which we have used to log in to the LDAP server so what we will do is we will do some configurations around uh, setting up a partition creating and uh, you know user IDs uh, creating an LDAP admin operator ID to log into your LDAP from Pega and then create some operators within it for uh, testing the single sign-on okay so right click open configurations so there is an uh, link to add partition click on add partition okay so just re uh, name it as our partition one and then uh, once you have added the partition if you want you can change the name so let it be partition one itself and then and save so once the configuration changes are done you restart your LDAP server so I'll just close the LDAP server and then restart it
okay so i have it's restarted the ldap server let me go back and then uh, uh, re close the connection and reopen the connection okay see now you see that there's a partition which is available so what we will do now is uh, so if okay so since i had already created some partitions earlier um, so it is appearing so what i'll do is i'll delete this users so this is how it will appear in your uh, screen once you add a partition and restart and then reconnect so what i'll do is i will add an uh, you know uh, a user tree directory so just click on this new entry just create the entry just say organization unit which is OU just say OU is equal to users so what I'm what I've done is I've created as in a subtree where you can create all the users under this tree so here I will add a new entry an LDAP I'll create an LDAP admin user account which we will use to authenticate from uh, you know configure the LDAP authentication from Pega to uh, the LDAP server so you need to select the inet organization org person here uid you can just say l tap admin you can just give cn and sn okay so this is the uh, ldap admin account so you just change so since this account was already created you know there is a default password current password so just give your own password uh, so probably I can just give secret as a password for this admin account so I have given secret as a password for the admin account so now what I'll do is I'll actually create another user account which we will use for single sign on test okay so UID so let's say 12109 okay let me give um, so test user finish so I have created the admin account for authentication as well as a user ID for uh, testing our single sign on so you we have not given the password so you can uh, add a password attribute for this uh, user ID account which we have created so password select the attribute name as user password Okay, just give install at one two three install at one two three so I've created the password for this particular user account so this now your LDAP server is ready and then uh, for our uh, LDAP setup so start the LDAP server sorry start the your personal edition so let me start Okay, my personal edition software is up now. So let me log in.
click so go to your uh, records click on the records option so now we have to configure the authentication service which is available under sysadmin so click on the authentication service create a new authentication service okay so you can just when you're creating authentication service choose the custom option so there are some uh, you know default urls which is already configured in our web.xml so i'm just using one of them which is a web build up one so create so here you can choose authentication timeout ldap timeout and authentication ldap activity so the initial context so the configuration which i had given so this is the initial context which you have to give here this is the directory so the bind username password so we uh, if you remember that we had created an a user id for us to uh, log into ldap server so this is the ldap admin so the password is something which uh, secret which i had given so let us give the password okay so save it still there are at lab so i have saved the configuration so we we'll, let's do a test connectivity so invalid credentials okay so let me change the password so give install 23 install at 123 so i've changed the password so let us give the same thing test the connectivity so you see that there is this test connectivity is successful so the initial directory is the directory which you have to uh, which will be used for all further uh, search filters so if you remember the you just give the same thing which we had given uh, for the partition to so choose this or you have to choose the user groups okay, this is the directory which you have to choose as initial direct directory context and here you can give u id equal to v percentage okay so just to be sure uh, you know if you open the activity okay so it is percentage v this is what it has to be given here okay and then probably um so now we have made uh, so let's say that we want to copy some of the attributes which is coming from the ldap server right let's say first name last name and so on so we have to make uh, we have to configure or map the attributes which is coming from ldap it's taking time to save okay so i'll just do some mapping over here let's say your cn is set to your uh, py last name so cn is attribute in let's say in the ldap for the operator id which we have given we have given c we have configured cn and sn this let's consider sn as the first name and cn as the last name so i have con con configuring this attributes so 
search for this attribute okay so for test purpose we have just configured two attributes so what we'll do now is um, create an operator id so your operator id should be same as the uid configured in our lab server so let's give some access group and the first name let's leave this first uh, full name as it is we will see if uh, things gets updated other thing is you have to check the ex use external authentication okay so we have to choose uh, division unit choose the division unit okay so we have created an operator ready and then uh, we are ready to test the LDAP now okay so the URL would be PR web and then yeah it's the LDAP URL So let's log in with this URL. So I'll use Chrome. Okay, my user ID is uh, okay. Okay, probably I did not save the operator ID or something. Give me a minute. Okay, so I have to select a default access group which was not selected. Okay. So let me reopen it. Oops. That's the URL. now if you see you are able to log in so we have mapped the attributes of first name and last name so we can quickly check if the attributes are getting set see the test and last name so to, probably you can just uh, give test one change the username first name and the last name so now I have changed the first name and last name in the LDAP server so let me log out login again okay so a quick check to see if the first name and last name is getting updated yes so with this we have configured an LDAP integration using Apache uh, LDAP server and configuring a directory configuring the uh, authentication the LDAP admin users and then successfully tested login with LDAP right thank you